news and reviews, man. We back and you know how we do, man. We got yeah. Rob Smokes Murder up the deck. This your boy Robin Job, man. Yes. Uh, <laughs> let's just get into it. We have a guy named Sir Tanky, a.k.a. Javante Murphy. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Earlier this week, we heard a story where his body was found in a metal container. It washed up on shore in Malibu, California. I'm just going by memory off of that part. But that was a crazy story. His his body has well, he's he was last seen on July 27th. Yeah. So it was a crazy story. We were talking about it in my uh, Facebook group. People yeah. were just like, dang, you know, like this sounds like some kind of cartel stuff. What what could be the backstory behind this? And I'm sure his family wants to find closure. Now, we don't really have any proof that there's a connection, but people are speculating that this could be connected to Pop Smoke's murder because we're finding out that one of the suspects that has been since cleared for the unaliving of Pop Smoke was the brother of this guy. So now they're thinking that this could maybe be possibly payback, revenge for what happened to Pop Smoke. What's your initial reaction to this? Did you, think, did you come across it? I, I, I didn't come across it, but for me trying to, you know, I mean, it could happen, but for Pop Smoke not being from the couch, not being from over on that side, it just kind of make it hard that, I mean, anybody can put some money on, in, you know, on somebody's head to get something done, but. Where do you think, think Pop Smoke died? He died in California, but he's from New York. So I don't think he okay. has the connections and ties that's, you know over there to uh well his people anybody that would do something for pop smoke i don't feel like they would you know i don't know how you know that do you know pop hey, smoke i know I'm giving my opinion yeah i'm giving my opinion like it could have been something else if he had something to do with pop smoke he probably had something to do with some other things as well but go ahead you know yeah i wouldn't take it off the table because of that cause the nigga, <laughs> yeah. don't think because you got beef with a nigga and New York, like you can't get touched on the other side of the map. Niggas yeah, get on planes can. and go to California. You all the time, right. You know what I'm saying? So uh Pop Smoke's murder was one of the most senseless in hip hop history, but now new details have emerged that suggest the killing was tied to another more recent murder of an LA rapper. According to TMZ, Jaquan Murphy, who was originally arrested in connection to the Queens rapper's murder back in 2020, but subsequently cleared of the crime, is the brother of Javante Murphy, better known as Sir Tanky. Sir Tanky's body was found on July 31st, naked and stuffed into a barrel. At the time of the discovery, police were uncertain of the possible motive for his murder. However, now that it's been discovered that he's the brother of Jaquan Murphy, who is currently awaiting trial in Los Angeles, California, for an unrelated murder, the LAPD believes that Sir Tanky's murder may be a revenge killing for Pop Smoke. So LAPD seems to think that there could be some kind of connection. This ain't just internet detectives. You know, this theory, however, is only speculation and the investigation is still in the early stages. The body of Sir Tanky was discovered on July 31st inside of a metal barrel that was washed up on the shore of Nalibu Lagoon State Beach, California. Lieutenant Hugo Reynaga of the Sheriff's Homicide Bureau confirmed that the metal barrel first washed up on Malibu shores on Sunday, July 30th. At the time, the maintenance worker who discovered the barrel didn't open it, nor did he suspect anything out of the or out of the ordinary about it. The 55-gallon container was subsequently discovered by a lifeguard in the Malibu Lagoon on Monday, July 31st. When the lifeguard brought it to the shore, he opened the container to discover the body of the L.A. rapper. The lifeguard told the outlet that he opened the container because its weight was suspicious to him. Dang. That's crazy. I mean, the reason why this is so crazy to me, we're, we're, we're seeing that, you know, YNW Melly, he had a mistrial recently. You know, his he just had an update. His uh, trial got moved back from October 2nd to October 9th. Then I heard the story about ugly guy, you know, uh, who is suspected of unaliving his best friend's father. You know, and now this is like, I don't remember hearing stories like this when I was coming up about rappers. Like, I think we're entering a new era right now. Am I off base when I say that or... 
is no, is, I think yeah. <laughs> no, I think yeah. man, we got Biggie Tupac, Big L. Uh, we got a lot of rappers that was killed slainly, you know, back I in the saying, day. I ain't saying they're yeah. the first rappers to get killed, but I'm saying these details just seem a little bit crazy, crazy. a little bit like crazy, yeah. you know. You Big L's was bad, you know, Tupac's was bad, but that still seemed like typical, typical shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't too much hear about people washing up in barrels. Definitely don't hear about people being suspected of staging, you know, a hit on their two best friends and then making it look like a dry bar or, you know, it, it just seems like the details is getting crazier and crazier nowadays. Maybe maybe I'm off base with that, but it just feels like that to me. It's deeper mm -hmm. than just hip hop, though. It's the poverty yeah. Yeah. and the gun culture in this country. People feel like picking up a gun is a solution to everything. Mm -hmm. Until until you reach a, a age of maturity, I think, and you start to change your mind. OGs don't really be with that, you know, trying to bend every corner, trying to get into it with everybody. All of this op shit is kind of like. A young boy mentality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You seem a little distracted over there. <laughs> Did you even hear what I'm saying? You laughing. No, you said the young boy mentality. <laughs> yeah. I think people kind of need to get. I heard uh, Bobby Schmurter say something like that recently. He said, if you above 21 and you got ops, like you lame or something like that. You feel me? That's like something for young niggas or something and i thought that yeah, was a good think, message to put yeah, out yeah 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 it is but i think is you know our last 10 years of hip-hop has been more entertaining when you got somebody going against you or somebody that you're going against like the uh gz uh gucci uh the biggie tupac it's like hip-hop is really centered around that uh competition beef. or that beef <laughs> so it's like just by being a rapper, I think you ready. You ready to get into it or you ready to and have you know that. what's so crazy? When I was coming up, hip-hop was centered around music. <laughs> right. You know, now that you so casually just said, you know, it's about beef now, you know, getting into it with somebody. And I'm not even saying you're wrong, but when I was <laughs> right. coming up, you were rapping about being a better rapper than other people. That's what people cared about, your skills. Yeah. How was you putting words together? How you was piecing the syllables together and everything? Now, you don't even need any talent. If it's suspected that you caught a body, they'll teach you how to rap. They'll put you with a good, they'll get Metro booming to do a track for you before you know it, you out of here. And the whole, your, your whole claim to fame is your backstory. And like, yeah, he owned that. And that's enough. Yeah. And it's sad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, that's why when people that's say why you don't like you, because that no Vaseline, he started it with that no Vaseline. Who you think started this beef rap? What what, what artist would you put it on? Like, yo. Well, let's slow down. Go ahead. <laughs> if I have any issue with Cube, it's because he spreads conspiracy Political. theories gotcha. and anti-Semitic <laughs> messages and just things that aren't true. So let's get that straight. It don't have nothing yeah. to do with his music or no Vaseline. Seems to be some confusion on your part, so I'm happy for the <laughs> opportunity to provide clarity. Nor do yeah. I think he started uh, songs about other rappers. Don't have a problem with that. He ain't the first one to get into a rap back and forth. He wasn't the last. Uh, I think that it becomes a problem when people are picking up guns and killing each other. Now, I don't know if these beefs started with rap, but just the fact that rappers get put into a position where they got to react that way. It's just, it's not, it's, it's, it's the culture of acceptance of, you know, picking up guns. You know, even the people that's listening to the songs, there's a whole thing about robbing a rapper. You know, they got songs <laughs> about that. Pop said, smoke. Yeah. They was, they, they, that was a home invasion where they wanted to rob them and it went ugly. That whole culture that thinks that that's even an option, that's the real problem. And it's just, it's it's seeped into the rap game to where you can't even tell the difference. We got robbers yeah. as rappers, killers as rappers, rappers as killers. I, you know, we don't even know what's the difference anymore. <laughs> rap culture is crime culture these days. Hate yeah, to say it, but that's just where we at with it. We we started this, you know, we want to talk about hip hop culture. We end up talking about crime half the time. Yeah. You yeah. know, if yeah. anything, that's what I like about Cube. He was rapping about a whole bunch of gangster stuff. You don't hear about Cube getting in trouble, though. 
<laughs> you don't hear about Cube doing nothing to nobody. He wasn't to me, he wasn't nah, a criminal. Cube, he was staying Cube with the going you, listen. Good. I get what you're saying, but I feel like Cube will put hands and feet on you about that. Like he ain't no sucker to where he ain't go. I don't feel like he's I that tight. I didn't use the word sucker or anything. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I would hope Cube knows how to defend himself. But I didn't <laughs> ever hear right. about Cube getting into crimes. You know, well, I didn't hear about Cube movie? going to and jail. He busted up the, uh, he was talking about the, you know, he went into the man office. You and talking went, about the movie? <laughs> yeah, well, Cube said that was true. Like he went in there, you know. Okay, I mean, threatened. look, look you know? I mean, look, we all got into a little dirt. I mean, you, I'm not, I'm not gonna snitch right now, but we, yeah. we, we ought to put it a little put dirt in our time. He's from you. a neighborhood, but I'm just saying, Cube ain't never picked up a gun and went after another rapper that I know of. You know what I'm saying? Right. I think that's good. It was more beefing on wax. That I'm all for. You know what I'm saying? But. When you a rapper and you still in the streets getting in beef with somebody or stuff like that, I just feel it kind of leaking over into something that it shouldn't be. Now, mm -hmm. that's not even to speak so much directly about the Pop Smoke situation. There's details there. Everything's not the same. But anybody who is not living under a rock, I think they'll understand what I'm saying. There's too many stories like this now. Yeah, you know, We got more rappers than ever, too. But it's yeah. too much of these stories where it's like, you know, things turn and turn deadly yeah. i thought we was rapping to get out of the hood you know yeah. <laughs> be in a yeah. place where people can't even get to you that easy but that ain't that ain't that ain't what's going on definitely what's going you on know right what I'm so definitely. listen man if y'all like what y'all hear please like and share weigh in on the comments it's rap trash nowadays is there too many <laughs> stories going on like this? Is it about the music anymore? Is it are we just seeing which criminal could rap the best? What what's going on? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm off base, man. Y'all get in the comments, chime in, and until the next time, stay shrewd.